Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to Teenopolis. So today we are building the two main structures that will dominate the mountain road leading up from the lower bailey into what's essentially my palace because why not? But anyway, the first structure that we start building is a planetarium because, well, I could give you like a lengthy excuse of like, oh, you know, technology and body body body. But the main reason is really just I saw a nice picture of like a fancy style planetarium and I just thought like I see this, I want this, I build it. <laughs> yeah, that's just the really just the main reasoning behind it. And it kind of helps with like transitioning from like the really intimidating and when it comes to defensive complete overkill of the lower bailey or just the real like castle structure and then the more refined and complete marble clad palace that's going to be built in the next episode but still the main reasoning is just i wanted to build a planetarium like this that transitional thing or like serving as a transitional building is really just an afterthought i just really wanted to build a planetarium for some reason Sadly though, I did forget to hit record when building like the actual planetarium or like the planet system. But I did remember to hit record when building the tower. Or at least the tower that it's... Well, it's supposed to be like a former guard tower or watchtower that was transformed into a planetarium. Because when you think about it, the lower bailey or like the actual castle structure that guards the mountain pass into Teenopolis is kind of an overkill when it comes to defenses which like i know you can never really have too much of an overkill when it comes to defenses but then like the loss of one tower if you already have like an extensive defensive structure like to get up to the palace you have at least four five gates that you have to go through and i'm going to add another gate like right next to this plant term or actually connected to this planetarium so you have six gates that you have to go through yeah i don't think the loss of this tower is going to be really heavily felt though because it's still has the like the matriculations the merlons again the matriculations are like the holes where the like the how can i say this in a good way let's just say where the ramparts are a little bit like offset from the actual wall i probably said that in the wrong way but it's just like the holes in the floor <laughs> that's the easiest way to say it but because it still has those like again the meticulations and the merlons it can actually still be used as you know a watch or guard tower in the event of like say a siege or something though its function is really just there as a planetarium for basically me as we're building my castle or my palace but anyway i also didn't hit record when building the well the pillars that will hold up the roof because they're pretty standard pillars or a pretty standard structure no i did hit record when building the golden dome because yeah this planetarium already went heavily into a fantasy team so i just thought I never do things minimalistic, so let's just go complete overkill and let's add a golden roof. Or at least a golden dome. Though it's not a close off roof, like it's not... It's... Well, it's basically just the support structures that you normally have, like the support beams. And then the rest between it is completely open because it's a planetarium, so it has a little bit more of a focus on the stars and the sky. So it was a nice touch to just keep the roof open and just have well it's just a nice way to just go into that like more fancy style where it's not completely functional but it's pretty and that's the main reasoning behind this golden dome roof thing and yes it is made out of temple statue pieces because well, actually the planetarium or like the plant system thing is also built mostly out of those. And the Christmas decorations. 
So yeah, it's kind of a weird structure when you look at the plant term and like hereby I'm saying like the actual plant term, but it actually could maybe work if it was powered by anything besides magic, maybe. Like I hate like saying like, oh, you know, this works because of magic. But then the, like the backstory behind Theonopolis is already like, oh, you know, the gods maybe have pulled this city from our dimension to another. So there's some kind of magic already involved. Though I did want to keep like the structures, even like the mega bridge that we're going to build later. I wanted to keep them like somewhat structurally sound or like somewhat reasonable. So there, it's not going to be a floating roof. Though I did, no, I built right now some support for like the dome that actually is like, it's two domes in a way. Like you have a larger ring dome that sits around the central dome. And first I thought like, you know, m let's make some kind of like rounded support structures for the middle dome. But in the end, I actually deleted it because it was just... I know I said like, let's go overkill with the fancy style, but you know, there is like some kind of a space between like, let's go a little bit extreme with some kind of style and complete overkill and making something way too busy. So that's why I actually removed what we're building right now because it just made the building really busy, really just... I don't know, it felt really chaotic in a bad way. It was just a little bit too much of an overkill, which is a rare thing for me to say. But there is still going to be like a support structure or a st support beam, but it's going to rise up from the middle ring. Or the middle well there's three rings right now on screen you have a middle one which is two rings like a higher ring and a lower ring so the basically the outside ring is just there for decoration it's almost like what i do with some pediments where there's like some kind of like little bit of like a fencing on the edge it's just there for decoration so yeah, in a way it turned out nice, but it's really just like a really heavily fancy like building. Which I, for some reason, try to avoid with Teenopolis, like real fancy like buildings, like floating buildings and wizard towers or something like that. But it just felt right because, I don't know, like Icarus is also like a little bit of like a but has a little bit of like a fancy style to it. I mean, it has a wind chime made out of gibbets. Yes. It's still a weird word to me and it still sounds like cat food to me. Gibbets, come on, that sounds like cat food. Anyway, b before I rattle on about cat food, we're finally building the middle or like the actual dome which was in a way weird to build but i think you can see now why i removed like the lower ring dome as i would call it because it's just really busy with it it's just a little bit too crazy and i'm making a hole in like the middle of the actual dome because when i first thought of this planetarium I thought of adding like a little bit of like a tower on top to make it well to actually add just a telescope but when I built the planetarium my first idea was like all right let's make something that is able to be made into a blueprint so that means it has to be under 40,000 well not 40,000 that's extreme 4,000 pieces and I think you guys by now already know like if I try to make something blueprintable then I usually go over it by 4,000 pieces. And I don't really like to build like two piece blueprints because it's just like a really bit well it's just tricky to make it look good because you have to like 
make a point where you need to basically have it so that you can easily put the two together. And I have tried that once, didn't work and it, uh, well, it just didn't work and I stopped trying to make two piece blueprints or any higher piece blueprints. But now to the mega bridge, because it's huge. It was, well, the, these two towers that are going to be flanking the bridge on either side weren't that huge, but um, just the gap that the bridge has to span is enormous. And as I said before, I wanted to make it like somewhat structurally sound, like somewhat reasonable. And you know that there is a castle right beneath it, so I can't really add any support beams or support structures in the middle of the bridge. It really has to be only supported at the edges. So first of all, it needed to have a significant arch in a way that it wouldn't break down. Then I thought like, oh, you know, you have those bridges which are supported from, well, above the deck of the bridge or like the floor of the bridge. But yeah, it sort of went that way with like pillars and such, but in reality those would just add to like say the weight of the bridge, especially with, with what you see me build later, it would just split right down in the middle. And then of course the castle or the gates of the Anopolis would just be destroyed. So um yeah, it was fun to actually try and figure out how to make this bridge look supported. It's... it was weird. But in a way fun because I had to try out new things and like do things that I actually have never done before because it's just so huge. Again, even if I didn't add the planetarium, this building would have also drawn in the fancy style really heavily. Because it's just so huge that I think nowhere in, let's say, ancient history would anything like this have been somewhat reasonable to build. Like, it's nowhere near realistic, but it's just pretty and I wanted my palace on the other side of the mountain. Or like on the other sides of the gap. So uh, yeah, I needed to find a way to actually reach that place. And even though I say I'm a squirrel, I wouldn't want to, you know, climb the rocks every time. Though, it might be fun. But then again, I'm probably also going to build like some kind of like huge tree just to, as a reference to like my squirrel mode that I get into sometimes. Also, I want to add like a plaza where like basically the blueprints of the Anopolis will lay. Yeah, I already have lots of ideas on the palace, though the palace itself as like a building probably is not going to be, well, it's going to be impressive, but it's not going to be very fancy heavy. Let's keep it at that. I'm actually trying to find references from, uh, I forgot the name of the palace, but it's the Minoan palace that is, I think, on Crete, but I don't know for sure, but I'm actually going to draw my references for the palace from there. But anyway, back to the bridge because yeah, it was a little bit weird to build because again, it's a fancy bridge so I just really googled fancy bridge and then saw the huge amount of pictures that came up and then I just thought like, okay. Because I didn't want to just have rows of pillars, though I did build rows of pillars, but I didn't want it to have just one very bland row of pillars, because, I mean, we're talking about me, I always do things in excess. So I added a structure in the middle, because I wanted to, and it just adds a little bit more personality, as I would say, to the bridge, because it just has a little bit more of a I'm here. 
like the bridge is actually the first thing that you see coming into the park because you're entering the park actually like through a cave or at least you're entering the map through a cave and then the first thing that you see is the, this bridge because it's just so huge it's so high up this is the first thing you see you actually not don't see the castle first you see the bridge so i needed to have an impressive bridge to merely make you think holy shit where did I go? Or where did I arrive? That's still the wrong way to say that, but anyway. <laughs> so the bridge, as I said, first thing that you see, so it needed to be impressive. And I kind of went for this like temple-like structure. Temple-like is in a sh shipload of pillars. <laughs> Because why not? But I didn't want to have like a very closed off feeling. Like I didn't want to have a large amount of like closed off walls. Because that would just make the bridge feel very well heavy in a way. Which is a feeling I really wanted to avoid with this bridge. Even though the middle structure is probably the one thing that will make this bridge collapse. Yeah. It's a strange bridge, but I love it. So, yeah, I could really see that this bridge is completely unrealistic. Maybe in today's world, it could be made. But even then, I still think it's at a risk of being completely structurally unsound. Anyway, I also decorated the roofs, which for some reason, I didn't want to have it very colorful, but I did that off screen. So right now we're completely going into like the actual like middle structure, which again, I wanted to keep very open, very airy. Also, because I didn't want to add a lot of weight to the middle of the structure, because as I said before, this structure on the bridge is probably the one reason why it's very unreasonable to be actually structurally sound like going into that as i said before the bridge is only supported at the edges because in the middle underneath the bridge there's the castle so you can't add like a huge pillar because that would go into the castle and that wouldn't look pretty and i don't want to redo the entire castle <laughs> so that's why first of all the middle structure is well i try to keep it as open and not as heavy as let's say an actual temple so that's why it's you know pretty weird when it comes to building because the first thing i just thought like all right this is going to collapse what can i do to basically make it not collapse yeah that was a long time of me thinking like how can i do this how can i pull this off but in the end, I did pull it off. I think. Even if I didn't, it looks pretty. And that's all I can say. But anyway, in the middle, I wanted to have some kind of higher structure or higher building. But again, not very dense, as I would say, or full. Just a little bit of like somewhat roofed because the I would call them wings to this structure or this building actually have an open roof why because I wanted to have plants fall down like from the ceiling like growing down the ceiling which again really adds to that fancy feel but I wanted to have one area because the bridge is huge so I wanted one area where you could be completely dry anytime it rains also, it's just to actually have somewhere of an arch or an overturned arch of like the towers at the edge of the bridge. And then it slightly goes down building height with the pillars. Then you have the wings of this building and then you have sort of like a hill with the middle structure. But I did build the supporting arch because you know it needs an arch and beforehand i didn't have an arch but i built that mostly off screen 
and now i'm building actually a secondary arch because the big arch just looked again too structurally unsound so i just built a secondary arch which was a little bit less big or chunky as i would say or i think but it works because it just adds another arch so it adds a smaller arch and because it's a smaller arch it's a little bit more structurally sound because as i said the middle structure might be the reason why the bridge could collapse because well the weight is of that middle structure is just pushing down like we all know how gravity works so that structure is just pushing down and then of course because it's not supported beneath the structure it will just push the sides of the bridge away so that it basically like a door just opens up but of course because it's one structure it doesn't open up it collapses so that's why adding that secondary arch and actually a secondary sort of walkway with windows so it's actually also a defensive structure because you can just open the window and actually have a complete firing range when it comes to like defense or defending the lower bailey so even if you like take what i would call the pit which is basically again the hole in between the first gatehouse and the larger gate house of the entrance gates to Tinopolis. so even if you take that you're still being pummeled with arrows and stones and anything they can throw at you from the bridge and to actually stop this you would either need to destroy the bridge which would also completely render the palace unreachable so you can't really you know do that or you would need to fight your way up to the bridge probably incurring heavy casualties so again the this bridge also just adds to the defensibility of Theonopolis. so uh, yeah good luck with taking Theonopolis. i don't think you will ever going to make it and it suits as like the one building that you see right from the entrance right from entering the park or entering the map actually so anyway it that's going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you do i hope to see you back in the next one hope you all have a wonderful day and see ya